opportunity to do so. So I, I did internship before I did the fishing is class. So mm -hmm. I, I stayed like two or three weeks you on the floor. You did internship with, for dialysis. Yeah, on the floor, uh -huh. like three weeks before I um, did fishing years. School. All right. I call it fishing in school. So, um, you and I went to school for mm -hmm. dialysis before applying for the our job. for our um for our company that we wanted to work for. So the, the difference was I did um like I said I did an internship, but mm -hmm. the only class that I did was uh, infection control, mm -hmm. and it just for well, one day. Then I went and I did three weeks on the floor. Then I went back to the, the class. But when I, the class was just like a waste of time for me. It definitely was. And I enjoyed it because I was getting paid for doing nothing. Yeah. It was basically things I have done before in my internship that I did not pay. I didn't get paid. Uh -huh. That I was getting paid for. Like, okay, let me enjoy the time. But I was fast because I already had the. Experience. I did not have any experience with dialysis. I came in green and wet. And so, luckily, sorry, luckily for me, the my prescribe at that time has been in this game for like 15, going on 17 years. Mm -hmm. So she had known every bit of, like, she would let me make a lot of mistakes. And she told mm -hmm. me the mistakes you're making, you're learning from it as long as you remember. Mm -hmm. So I made a lot of mistakes. That's why she gave a lot of trap. Yeah, I made a lot of mistakes. I gave a lot of patients excess saline. Oh, who? <laughs> bleeding was everywhere. I only did that one time. She gonna hook. She gonna stick the patient. She tell me, okay, hook the patient up. The next minute, the sailing bag is empty and the machine is beeping like, oh girl, you really want to know this dialysis? Start getting the air out. Yeah, and I Why? start getting the air out. And after two, two draining of the bags. Mm -hmm. My head open <laughs> <laughs> because I ate getting uh, syringes and pulling and mm -hmm. it got to the sec. I think the second one I did. She'll be like, "Girl, I need to change the line. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait." It was this. that bad. Yeah. Oof. I mean, I used to get and, air in the line a lot, but not drain the bag. I got air because of the way that my Hansons and dialyzers were. Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't flipped. Like how now we flip it mm -hmm. to red before we. Put the patient, mm -hmm. hook the patient up. Some people still don't do that. They don't, and I don't work, know whatever how. Whatever works for you, uh, it, it don't works. work for me. I see it all the time. Yo, she already said flip everything up so you don't have to see the blood mm -hmm. leak because truly sometimes there might be blood leak and the machine yeah. might be telling you, but there's a question mark there. You don't know, and sometimes it might be tricky. Like there's no blood leak, but mm -hmm. the blood leak is just straight. But if you keep resetting and there might be truly blood leak because there are some blood leaks, you won't even see the pink color. Mm -hmm. You see it clear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You, there was some that, like, yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like the one we saw on PK the other yeah. day. Yeah, it was literally white. But when I got the test strip, it was mm -hmm. ching ching ching. Mm -hmm. oh. So did you um get your internship through this going to school? Mm -hmm. I didn't even get the opportunity to do so because it was like smack dab in the middle of the pandemic. Uh, so no clinic would allow us to go in and do any any type of hands on anything. But before I got my clinicals, I actually waited more than six months. Like, you waited more than six months. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't allow us to do clinicals because the school didn't um, get internship. They were like, if you can go to the Vida or Fisinius, and Fisinius were ready to take it, and the Vida were like, no. Mm -hmm. And it was, we were like five or eight, but two got employed. Mm -hmm. Me and one other guy as part of students. Mm -hmm. So, you said we're really good there. We exceed the expectation we are bringing. Mm -hmm. So, wow. Well, do you yeah. regret going to school before? Going to school before? No. At first, I, I feel it's a waste of money. It is, but definitely. I have the experience. Like, yeah. this is just my three years. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I've made the final level of the promotion that I can ever get as a PCT. You are lying. Yeah. I mean, the final level. Preceptor is the final level? Yeah. I'm basically, you being a float. Oh, preceptor and then float is the final level. Would you be preceptor? Would you be a floating preceptor? I'm already a preceptor. But would you go, if you went and floated, because now we float around, would you, if they say, I need you to precept when you come in, would as you? As long as they're going to pay me for the person, I'm going to be preceptor. Okay. 
I think the another one is travel. I cannot do travel. Why not? You can travel in Georgia. No. I don't want to travel and be a P60. The money is just going to be crumbs. Hmm. No know. crumbs. But see, this is a thing. You have to keep looking like you don't have to believe to yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have to see yourself this high. Because mm -hmm. when you see yourself this high, you get there and you be like, okay, I, I need to go higher. Mm -hmm. That's true. So I mean, that's, that's the way I think. I believe if you're a nurse mm -hmm. and you're traveling, it's you're breaking the bank. Mm -hmm. But if you're a busy team and you're traveling, it's just like they're giving you this or what. I mean, compared to what the nurses get, but it, yeah. you can't really compare because they're gonna float, be they're gonna be doing different float stuff. Float nurses get twenty five percent. Techs get fifteen percent. Mm. Or ten. Yeah, it's fifteen percent now. Oh, okay, what up? Before it used to be a ten and a half. Okay, but they changed everything to percentage. Mm -hmm. So. So I don't know. That, I mean, okay, so <laughs> we started off on this video kind of in the middle because I had to catch catch her off guard. <laughs> but we were talking about the expectations of being a patient care technician. Um, and we also kind of dibbled on uh basically they kind of went to start. school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they kind of went to school before they started, and I didn't. So I came in fresh. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't have no. All right, ladies, that's the last one. All right, bye. bye. I didn't have any patient care technician experience. I have uh, medical assistant experience, but not patient care technician experience. They had mm, patient care technician experience um because they went to school, which you don't. The point of this is you don't have to go to school to be a patient care technician for hemodialysis. Just apply to a dialysis company. They will train you and you will get paid for training. What you about to say? But you need to have a medical experience. Medical experience. Do you know? Yes. I mean, I know I had some, so. You have to. You might, you might be uh, a med tech. You might be, uh, what is Valerie doing now? What did she do before? I think she said she was a Girl. pharmacy tech. You can be a pharmacy tech. You can be a I mean, CNA. You can be a phlebomist. Phlebomist? Yeah, phlebomist. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, they're going to eat that up. You can be an mm -hmm. EKG yeah, yeah, specialist. You can be anything. Mm -hmm. As long as you have like two. Some type of medical. I ain't even have no two years though. It might, be, it might not even have two years. It might be a year. It might be Maybe because I worked in an assistant living. <laughs> Well, I also, you know what? I'm going to say this. If you know somebody that's in a higher management, I knew the manager when I started at my at Yeah, that's another friend plus. City. If you know the manager or the DO, Director of Operations, or FA, Facility Administrator, if you know somebody in, they can get you in, and you're going to be set. Uh, oh, sorry. I believe oh. um, dialysis is just like a network. Network? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Basically, everybody there know each other. Mm -hmm. Those in Davide, they also work here. That's true. And uh, those in Emory. Mm -hmm. Emory, yes. Uh, it's not from Emory work for first And you have Serena too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's just basically like a network. If you enter, once it's you, difficult to enter, but when you enter. Yes. Once you get your toes wet, you, in, you ch step for life. Ch 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 Make sure you get manager's numbers. Make sure you get their numbers and stay good with them. Be you're going to be set for your career, even if you just stay in temporarily. Mm -hmm. Get managers' numbers. Get even charge nurses' numbers. Get DO's numbers. Talk to them. Kiki ha ha with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, just have some type of relationship with them mm -hmm. and have a good report on the floor mm -hmm. so that when you want to, you know, make a move, even in the dialysis field, because it's mm -hmm. like other things you can do. But when you want to make a move, that all you got to do is pick up the phone and they're like, yeah, I'll do that for you. So, but what would you say, Opie, because you've been doing this longer than this. What would you say... Uh, I say that they have unrealistic expectations of new PCTs when we start dialysis. Do you agree? Um, I feel if you're starting new, just be confident. But because how can you be confident with something you never experienced and it's, people's lives are in your hands? Okay. Like when I started nearly, there's this question that I keep saying, oh, whenever I make a, few, a little mistake, oh, I'm sorry I did this. 
the patient was mad at me. He said I shouldn't touch him anymore, but I know what I was doing. And when some other patients see the way I was handling things, like, okay, if um, somebody is bleeding, I wasn't freaking out, but I knew it was bleeding. I need to do something. But in my mind, I'm freaking out, like, oh my God, this was <laughs> blood. But yeah, mm -hmm. as long as you didn't put it on your face, you just have to like roll the scary face. Just keep in, moving. Keep mm -hmm. moving. Like, oh, sorry, I'll be there. Let me grab. But you know, you're freaking out. But like, let me grab a glass. The moment you're trying to grab a glass, it's like, Mm -hmm. then face it with a like a courage kind of yeah so face. so i tell my audience all the time uh because they let me know that they be scared <laughs> so i say do it scared just don't look scared yeah. and especially if you have like a decent team uh taisha call us the three musketeers <laughs> <laughs> but if you got a good team like you could be like hey need some help over here like and i'm like are you know, okay mm -hmm. It might, it might not be okay. You're like, I'm just gonna, but or I, I would be like, like mm -mm, I'm dying here. I'm like, okay, I got you. I'll be there. So the thing is, like, mm -hmm. like the question you asked me, like, mm -hmm. do I get everything in life? I don't know. <laughs> I'm saying it again. I don't because the moment I'm like, oh yeah, I got this. I'm like, I'm messing up. Mm -hmm. I'm infiltrating patients. Oh, infiltration. Talk about the infiltration when you first mm -hmm. start. What no, feel the like? thing is, I did not infiltrate any patient. Mm -hmm. But the mistake I made was, you know, when you uh, stick the patient with a needle and you don't clamp and you lose, you're trying to connect the line. Yeah. That was the thing I did a lot. Oh. Now you see my confession, mm -hmm. right? So that's yeah. <laughs> confession on a PCT. Confession on a PCT. That's the reason why you be like, you always see me like, I make sure I clamp, 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 clamp. Be like, okay, yeah. what am I not clamping? Mm -hmm. Before I hook the patient up, yeah, I mean, I, I, I clamp, clamp, I use a blue clamp mm -hmm. too. Like, mm -hmm. uh -huh. I, I, I clamp everything because I, I, I drained one bag into somebody, and I was, and and after it happened, the um, the tech, it was Courtney, she was like, and she was standing there, and as the bag is almost going to where it's about to be air into the patient, she was like, um, Ebony pointed to the bag clamp, and I was like, huh? She was like, yep, bag empty patient has no idea and i am terrified i'm like oh god they're gonna die because <laughs> <laughs> so that's just, just just like that's just the they thing. live but still that's how you feel when you when you're new and you're making mistakes i would say like the first six months even after that but that first six months is kind of like boy you're gonna make some 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 mistakes what would you say taisha are I say unrealistic expectations that people have for you on the floor when you start. I feel like it really just depends on the trajectory of your clinic. You got to know what you're walking into. So when, like, let's say your first day you're coming in and you're touring your facility, ask questions. How many patients? What's the ratio on the floor? Mm. Are you guys short staffed? The ratio. <laughs> Are you guys short staffed? Let me say it again. <laughs> Are you guys short staffed? By the way, guys, everybody's short techs, staff right now. <laughs> how many techs work here at this clinic? How many nurses? Who's float? Who's contract? You need to know these things. Why? It's literally setting you up for when you finish your training and you have to start on the floor. Because the expectation is going to be you haven't even been working on the floor for a month. They want you to learn how to close. They want you to learn how to open, and you got to learn how to bleach. How long? Oh, hold on. The time Wait, yours is totally different from mine. No, but I'm just saying, that's that's sort of kind of what that, expe that expectation is going to be. If you don't know these things prior to, that's but, what I mean by walking what's in the green. Because um, mine you, was different too. So, <laughs> so technically, you're supposed to at least be working on the floor for six months. Six to eight months before you start learning how to close, open, and bleach. Oh, be how long? For me. Oh, hold up. How long for you? Um, I was working the floor for about three months before I learned how to close. This is after training, right? And this was after training. All right, cool. Opie? Uh, my when I started, um, like I changed clinics because of my push up long story. Yeah. So I came to this clinic. So basically, there were a lot of people push up Everybody knows how to do it. Like, I have four mm -hmm. people in front of me, and me, I was still new. Mm -hmm. I didn't even get to make granular flow. 
and it's probably about six uh, or eight months going to eight months mm -hmm. but I know how to make it mm -hmm. but they didn't tell me to mm -hmm. it's just well, it was just like a rotation everybody has okay I made this this day the next week you didn't want but they didn't involve me because they felt like I was still new I don't know much things but I know Mm -hmm. But I don't, I didn't make them know I know. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the key. Once you start, it's a wrap. I didn't make Let them, them find out you know how to open and close so or bleach or make acid. After then, they're like, okay, she learned how to make acid. Then let's teach her how to close. But the machine I, I trained with, with my first presenter when I was still in um, an intern, mm -hmm. there's different. Yes. Every clinic, just about every clinic might have a different water system. Mm -hmm. So don't be trying to learn everybody water. Just learn one. Just learn one. So they trained me for two, no, almost a month, but I know what I was doing. I didn't mm -hmm. make them know I know what I was doing. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Mm -hmm. Don't rush into it. Do don't not rush, rush into it. <laughs> do not. Don't do it. Don't rush. Because when she came to me, oh, I didn't rush. I didn't rush. Oh, Mind you, she taught up. us right how right. to open, close, and bleed. She taught us how to do all that, but guess why? I told them don't She run. was the only home tech here. Mm -hmm. I did know how to do some things. Now, I did tell her, so I'm like, hey, I ain't finna be the only one. Mm -hmm. You ain't finna be the only one, and I'm not finna be the only one. We not all finna be the only ones doing a certain thing. We can, you know, divvy up. So, that's why we three musketeers now. Mm -hmm. But, um, Opie was very burnt out. Okay, when I first came, and I can see it because I remember when I was burnt out, she was like burnt to the max. And so when I learned, and I was like, all right, I'm going to wait training because you know, you don't get no uh, overtime doing your, what is it, 120 days, three or three months? You don't get no overtime. You only work 40 hours a week, right? You don't, Just yeah, you only work 40 hours, hours. So I wasn't trying to do nothing outside no, of that. Extra. So once that, you know, I passed my test or whatever, then I was like, all right, Opie, you, I'm going to start walk, watching you. But Opie didn't want me to. But I started anyway because I knew she was burnt out. And I was like, okay, mm -hmm. it could be one extra person to help. So I think I started. Well, I started first. I started closing or opening. I don't know. But I started one or the other, closing or opening first. But uh, Opie was getting tired of me because she was like, how many times I got to teach you? I was like, until I get it. <laughs> <laughs> because I was like, take your time. You just finished the pressure from trying to pass the test and everything. Oh, that was the reason why, like, take your time, take your time. I believe in teamwork. Relax, relax, because I you're relax. gonna do this and mm -hmm. you'll be tired of doing it. Mm -hmm. I already knew that. I remember. I'm that. not tired. Oh, I am tired. I'm just a very like when when I was presented with the idea of learning how to close first, I was like, okay, cool. We balance each other out out of two hours. I I, I, I pray y'all get a good team. We balance each other out for the most part, even though Obi going to float. But we But balance, I don't see me here most of the time. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we balance each other out because Taisha is the whatever y'all wanna do. Me and Opie is the nope. No, I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that. Well, you wanna do that? Okay, I'll do that. Like so we, I'm the mediator. Yeah, she in the she I'm she's like, the, whatever you want. Right. It doesn't matter her. No, whatever, whatever works for you. Uh -uh. Oh my gosh. Uh -uh. But yeah, we no. need one person to be like that. Because me and Opie, <laughs> <laughs> we not having it. <laughs> you need one person to be like, whatever y'all want to do. And then that's when we get together and be like, all right, you want to do this, 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 this. Mm -hmm. Okay, you going to do that? Okay, I'm going to do this. And what, yeah, whatever, wherever whatever, I fit don't in, give her the crumbs. I just fit in. We do not mm -hmm. give her the crumbs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> whatever I fit in, I just come in. I just uh, know at the end of the day, it, it has do, to honey. get done. Why? Because... Myself, Ty, Opie, and Ebony are the only employees at our clinic that seats 25 people. The only thing we don't do is part submit and um, give headprints. But basically, I need every dirty shit. work, we do the dirty we work. We do it. We do the work. We do the dirty work. Um, like um, yeah. this past, this few Fridays. Oh Lord, don't don't get us started on my Friday. These few Fridays I was I we we made sure that it would be sure like a tech. Like eight patients, nobody to do anything to them. Mm -hmm. so we'll be running like just doing ping pong with ourselves. Mm -hmm. so today's thing I was even mad that like we have I know we got lunch on Monday, but 
Friday we need to get something. Even though we will not <laughs> yeah, let us just waste the money. The Open money will not go to their pocket. No, <laughs> the money will not go to their pocket. Why are you people making me At the end of the day, all we gotta make sure we eat. Listen, if I'm not tripping because we go eat. Okay? And I'll be like, okay. No, I I, because I know that's the only thing everybody's gonna be calm with. On Monday you were True. not feeling fine. You could have called up. But True. you did not. Wednesday to you still not feeling fine. I just know that the person that I saw on the schedule for Friday, mm -hmm. they need to take them off because they've been they've not been working. Okay? Sherry's name is not there. Don't yeah. say her name on the video. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, Kiki's coming. Kiki's coming. Oh, Kiki coming. Yay! So I think you yeah. We up. I've been praying, you. honey. Oh Jesus. Um, okay, so I'm gonna say the one expectation that I feel that's unrealistic on the floor when you first start as a tech. Mm -hmm. Whether you know what you're doing or not, if you've been out of the game for a minute when you come back, is getting patients on on time. Mm, that's People expect you when you are smooth out of training. I don't know why they are psychotic. But mm -hmm. they expect you to automatically know how to get your patients on on time. You mm -hmm. don't. That is a skill that you learn and you develop over time. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people say it take at least a year for mm -hmm. you to really get into your groove. groove. Mm -hmm. And I agree with that because mm -hmm. you fumbling over patients. Half the time, the patients don't even mm -hmm. like you and don't want you to touch them. So you got to mm -hmm. get over that. You, mm -hmm. when it comes to like, you got to have confidence, like Opie mm -hmm. said, because some patients you have to tell, hey, let me do my job so that I can get to the next patient and mm -hmm. you're not the only patient that I have. Like it's, you know, you have to explain that to them in the nicest way possible at first. And then, you know, once you get to know them, you can tell them in other ways. But I feel like that's an unrealistic expectation that you may or may not have to meet at your clinic if you're a new tech. Like they just gonna expect you, I don't know why, to already be on it and have your patients on on time and if you don't have a good preceptor, Opie is a good preceptor. She knows her stuff. And some of the times, if she couldn't necessarily articulate it, because some a lot of I'm hands-on, and if you're a hands-on person, then you're a hands-on trainer. So some of the stuff that Opie might not have been able to necessarily tell me, I would just watch her and be mm -hmm. like, oh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do what she's doing. That's why I think it's more than a year you need to learn your groove. Because mm -hmm. it took me more than a year because I was trying different things. I was trying to do say a, I say a year to just begin the groove. Okay. Like, like yeah, not yeah. where you at least hit it, but where you be like, okay, I kind of sort of know what I'm doing, but I still don't know all the way. Because you can still fumble. You can still be drowning in changeover. Mm -hmm. All it takes is that one patient to be bleeding. Mm -hmm. All it takes is that one patient to Do pass cramp out. Cramping? All it takes is that one patient to be cramping. Then you lose your whole... Yeah. It's a wrap. So I just believe it like uh take a year and it take a while to so really get to that final stage. And I say that if you feel like a quitter because you keep messing up, it's okay. You're gonna keep messing up. Like it's normal. The analysis is a new thing every day. It's I mean, we almost got beat up today. <laughs> we did got beat up. <laughs> By a patient. Show your show your battle scars. <laughs> On Friday, and a patient was just uh -uh. a patient was unruly today. <laughs> so like you need to like it's, it was it's out of control. Like, <laughs> always come in with open mind because if you come with an expectation, sweetheart, you're gonna be disappointed. Mm -hmm. Disappointed. Mm -hmm. So just come with okay, whatever happened. Yeah, I'm gonna try to don't answer. even don't even have expectations of float. Um, of travel because Opie be getting mad. <laughs> Opie be like, they did not help us. I will be like, Opie, I don't expect them to help us. Mm -hmm. I expect because I believe, us um, I believe it's us. like a it's like a good gesture. It is, and I'm sure that when we when I go to other clinics, mm -hmm. I do help. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I don't expect that from some people. I kind of just watch and observe and see what mm -hmm. they're gonna do and see how they work That's and see how they flow. Common sense. But then everybody ain't got it. It's not always coming. It needs to be coming in Dallas. <laughs> it's not. It, but it needs but you to. Dealing, but you're dealing with personalities. You're dealing with people. You don't know what's going on in their mind just because they look at things. And what I do all is, walks alive, too. You yeah. just don't know. Yeah, but what I do is I just like, okay, can you guys help us do some of these things? I don't want to be like, oh, my mom is saying that. I'll be like, mm. hey, we need help with blood pressures. 
yeah i can I, I walk up to them oh can you help us put out some blood i'm like oh i cannot do it I, okay but next time you come and you don't see any blood we ain't helping you. <laughs> we helping you we're not gonna put anything even though there are some things in your chair i will take it out personally i have oh, witnessed God. so many times those same so this is not me wait 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 those same attitudes towards things it's all mad they always come that they always come for them when they be on the floor they come in late yeah, and they're not prepared. And who they look at? And they look at us to help them. <laughs> and we'd be like, "Well, when we was looking for help the other day, you ain't give us a guess what? You're going to draw." <laughs> and that's exactly what happens. They just be like, <laughs> just, and, and, and you just be sitting over there like. And what if the, uh, the the person that comes in is not a, a good speaker? You don't know the person access on you. Ooh. That part. Ooh. And some people be thinking they real Ooh. good and they not. They be thinking they real good speakers. And when it's changeover, you're taking out the neck needle to put on somebody else and they say, we, we stick them the spot that they should have stick mm. them. Do not stick in the white. They're going, mm. do not stick in the scab. Oh, do not yeah. stick yeah. next to, stick if you can go as far away from the scab mm. as possible, even if you got to be like, pew, pew, like, mm. don't stick in the scab. Yes, I'm going to say if you want to learn how to be a very good speaker, get this needles, like, mm -hmm. try to stick in. Because the beauty is always like that, too. That's how I was trained in my dialysis school. Get the needles, like, try to stick in. Because the beauty is not as big as that. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all that on another video. Okay? Oh, I was about to go get one. You about to do it? Cause that's how I. But I gotta turn it. I gotta turn it. Oh, 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 she wanna go home. We gonna do that on another. <laughs> Listen, this is our special guest. It was so good okay. to have you. Up here. <laughs> Listen, y'all have a good one and keep your head up. If you're a new tech, just know I'm what two and a half years in. Obi's three years. I'm a year. So just know that. Just hang on, and if you got a good team, I mean, we be fighting sometimes. Oh, but yeah, we do. She don't fight. She don't fight, but we be we go at it. But she we got love for fight. each. We she, got love well, for hold each. Hold on, she fights. I know when she fights. I know. When when? She fights. I know how she fights. We got I we got silently. Yeah, because I she she, 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 she got that get back spurt. Yeah, so I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she fights. You be like, and I oh yeah, she's she like, oh, no. Oh, she's in the mood now. Like, okay, and I'm like, I know you're already mad now, but I know. <laughs> she be mad. That's she always coming over to me whispering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I know she's in that mood, and she's like, oh god. She be mad. She be, <laughs> yeah, like this thing. We find our little corners to go talk to each other, and you be like, really? So let me tell you what such and such did. But mm -hmm. I mean. It's okay to, I say, have confrontation. Don't be afraid of confrontation in the way of communication. Like, me and Opie communicate a lot because yeah. we might not <laughs> yeah. we might not agree on certain stuff. And um, Taisha communicates differently. And she just be looking at us like, no. and, I'll be, and I'll bring the tie. I'll be like, okay, you want to do it that way? No. You know, we just see what whose way is going to work. I'll be like, oh, yeah. that's what you want to do? Let's see what happens. And then she'd be like, oh, that's what you want to do. Let's see what happens. Like, but it's, it's but healthy. It's, it's but healthy. When, it's, so it, when it never something happens, they're like, okay, it's done. We just have to do something. Yeah, but, it's healthy. And I say it's healthy because at the end of the day, we end up being there for each other, even mm -hmm. if we mad or whatever. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk it out. We're going to whatever, like. But not that moment. Depending on how I feel. Yeah. <laughs> it might be that moment. <laughs> but in that moment, I might not be ready to talk. I might be like, okay, let me just eat, drink water. I don't, I like yeah. to eat what I Take a little snack break. Yeah, but snack mm -hmm. break I say that to say, build relationship with your team mm -hmm. and don't be afraid of the disagreement. Don't be mm -hmm. afraid of argument. Don't be mm -hmm. afraid of whatever you feel because a lot of it is trust issues. Yeah. You got to learn how to trust each other. Mm -hmm. So... That sometimes um, you might disagree to agree, and you might agree to disagree. True. So yeah. it but depends think, on how you communicate mm -hmm. whatever is going on with you. Like what you're thinking, what you're thinking. She doesn't know what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she's thinking, and I'm like, okay, maybe and when I'm on my way other, home, I can send a text message. Or when I get don't send me like, a text. I'd be like, call me. No, I don't. Call me. She be trying to not answer my phone. <laughs> 
<laughs> but she better know. She she used to not answer the phone. Then I get to work, I'll be like, look at she too. I'll be like, Opie. <laughs> Opie, I know you. I'll be like, Opie, I know you see my. I know you see my phone call, Opie. She answered the phone now, y'all though. All but, in all, all of these things are building blocks <laughs> to elevate the work relationship. Yes. The thing is. Like we know do's and don'ts. Mm -hmm. That's what I call those things. Yeah. Do's and yep. don'ts. So it's, we don't I don't do things that upset her. She don't do things that upset yeah. her. It's building relationships. But I actually don't care. I upset yeah. her a lot, but she, I know what she's giving me with Santa Trinta. I'm gonna be happy. I know you're already mad. So whatever. <laughs> but I know you're gonna get over it. Yes. But that's all to say, build relationship. Don't be afraid to build relationship. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna trust each other in the get in the beginning. Mm -hmm. That's normal. And you're gonna have to have these little riff rats, a little friction so that you can mm -hmm. learn how to trust each other and build a relationship yeah. understand one another and create boundaries okay mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, boundaries are, yes. 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 yes yes but the boundaries we all love food we all we love, love food, food. <laughs>